So I'm heading to a local nursery and a friend of mine told me all about this location and I have to go check it out. I have went to two locations today and I'm hoping that this third one was going to be the best because I am tired of looking for Brussels sprouts. The other place had Brussels sprouts for you guys but they were not good. Um, they were really tightly uh, compacted and the stems were purple and I don't buy them like that so I'm heading to another location to see what they have and I'm super excited just to see because why not try something different a new nursery so let's get shopping hello everyone welcome to beauty in the garden I am T if you're new to my channel welcome today I am shopping and you guys I am in heaven oh my gosh y'all guys i'm in heaven i'm in heaven thank you to a friend of mine that let me know about this place oh my god it's, i'm in heaven do you understand all right so remember i was telling you guys i was looking into getting some brussels sprouts and i could not find them at the big box stores or even some of my nurseries i don't li literally went to two other nurseries and could not find you guys Brussels sprouts, but you guys check out these Brussels. So here are some Brussels sprouts. Um, I am gonna be looking for nice stems, not purple stems, because what happens? They crack when they grow. So I always try to get them when they nice bright green. Well, we're gonna get shopping, you guys. So I'm gonna be picking up of some of these Brussels. Let's see here. I really am liking this one right here. They even have some that are younger. But I'm gonna go with this size right here. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Check that out. Lovely, okay. Now they are running $3 for a four pack. So still, I, I just want my Brussels this year. I literally want my Brussels. So here are the younger ones right here. All right, so you guys can see younger seedlings here all right they're pretty strong look at that i don't know you guys i might actually just get the younger ones because they might want to grow a little bit quicker so i'm going to actually pick up yeah i want to pick up one older one and one younger one and then right beside here is broccoli now i do have purple broccoli and green broccoli already planted out in the garden um, and look if y'all see my garden too I already have a ton of bok choys right here they have these planted up so if you guys are interested y'all gotta look around in these nurseries oh my god you guys I am just floored here it's gorgeous I'm in like hog heaven here right now oh my god I can think of so many different type of arrangements that I can get started Oh, I am in heaven. All right, so what else they have here? Um, they have some Jersey. I didn't do any Jersey cabbage, so why not pick up a couple? Let's see what they have. They got the early Jersey cabbage. Let's see, let's see. Oh, here go a nice one. So the Jersey cabbage is actually the cabbage that has like the pointy top. So I'm gonna get just a pack of these. And like I said, I'm always gonna look for nice clean stems. Um, don't get them if they have that hard stem. I promise you just don't do it. It splits and then when it gets really cold, they split, okay? That means they got root bound and they were just forcing themselves to continue on growing in those little plugs. So just try to look around and get some good ones, okay? Stuff that's still gonna wanna grow really well, all right? See what we got oh my goodness oh my goodness all right let's see what they got da, da, da. i want to get this one it's like right here in front of my face i'm just gonna get this one look at there oh. all right so now we have two brussels sprouts and one early jersey all right now yes you can start all this from seed which i actually my garden is pretty darn full right now but 
ah, I just can't help myself right now. It is beautiful out here. I don't need any Georgia colors. I already got those. And I already got my Moore's head. I know you guys have checked out the Moore's head. They get really, really huge. All right, they get super, super huge. So I, I got a lot of those. All right, let's see what this one is right here. All right. Oh, these are collards. These are collards that get a head. I don't know if you ever heard of heading collards. So these are headed collards right here. I know you guys, all of it look green, right? So, <laughs> but these are headed collards. More collards. I don't need any collards. And what is this one? This one here. Oh, I'm actually going to pick up. Is this what color kale? That's red kale. This is AKA scarlet kale. I actually would like to have, since I already have my scarlet kale, um, I actually would love to have some green kale. All right, I didn't plant up any of the green kale this year. So let's see if they have any. Um, this is a mild, I don't need that. It's like a mustard. It's a mustard, I don't want a mustard. I even have these mustards planted. I like these and these are actually called Southern mustard greens. I have them actually planted up around the chicken coop. Let's see. So let's see what they have. All they have is some Swiss chard. I have that planted. I have that planted, so I don't need any Swiss chard. Green curly kale. What I'm only seeing, you guys, is the red. I would love to have some green because I did not plant up any green this year. Um, I planted up a lot of stuff. I have, you know, the collards. I have the, I actually have Georgia collards, Morse collards. I'm gonna pick up, these are the snowball, right here is the snowball crown which is basically the Snowball X white cauliflower. Okay. Let's see what we got. They don't look too bad. Let me see if I find a different one. Don't you want to come loose? Don't you want to come on out? <laughs> oh, this one's missing one. Mm -hmm. A couple of them are missing one. Oh, I can't get up. So I just told you guys how I just planted, uh, how I just purchased uh, some veggies. Now check out all of these beautiful plants. You have all of these beautiful figs. All right, to go in your house over my girls and like house plants. I mean, they have some gorgeous plants. Look at that ivy right there. Oh, let's go this way. Let me show you guys this gorgeous plant right here. Look at these monsteras. These are some beautiful monsteras. Have you ever seen such gorgeous, gorgeous monsteras? Oh, look at this. Look at this one. They say, do not touch it. I mean, Hello to the Monsteras, okay? Oh my goodness. And they have elephant ears in here. I mean, they have, remember you guys, I was telling you guys about the mother of pearl. Let me show you guys what that looks like real fast. All right, so let me show you guys. So remember I told you they were expensive? Right there. Thought. That right there is the mother of pearls. Gorgeous succulent, gorgeous succulent. And then over there, they have the philodendrons. Let me show you guys the philodendrons. So I am gonna about to head out of here because I have been here a little bit too long. But here is some philodendrons. I love philodendrons. I have a good bit of those as well. But, and then I found this. It's a dragon fruit, and I'm definitely gonna get this gorgeous, gorgeous dragon fruit. They have two different sizes. I'm absolutely in love with that. I think I would actually would love, I mean, 
Stunning. Hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Oh my God, I really enjoyed myself today. It was so gorgeous in the nursery. Oh, I just had an absolute ball. It was so nice and refreshing. The outside air was amazing. The shopping trip was so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And like I always tell you guys, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now. It had so many treats to shop around and head to your local nurseries and see what you guys can find. Bye-bye, you guys.